Okay, so today I'm doing a cover, no, a <laughs> tutorial of Mice by Billy Martin. The chords in this are, there's only I think maybe five, six chords, but the order of them changes quite a lot. So in the description I will write where each of the chords go, um, so that's a bit easier to like practice and follow than just listening to me kind of repeat it. The first shape is a B flat. And the strumming throughout the song, the rhythm wise, is exactly the same. The only difference is the first note that you pick. So on the B flat, pick the A string, strum up, strum down, and strum back up again. And just repeat that twice. And then switch to an F. Uh, I prefer to bar it, I think it sounds better. Pick the E string, and then once again, strum back up, down, and back up again. And just repeating that. Then repeat those two chords again. Then on the I'm living my life, you're gonna start with the B flat, same rhythm, then move down to an A. I just keep I just keep using my last three fingers, just makes it a bit easier just to slide down. And once again picking the A string and same strumming pattern. And then back up to a B flat on a wrong, and then an F. So all of that bit is. I don't understand. This is that I'm living my life bit. I've, I feel nothing at all. So that's just B flat again into F. B flat again. F. And then you're going to change to an A before. And then B flat back on the back wall is back to F. So that second bit is B flat. And that's all the verse for you. I'll just play the whole verse now. So you've got the chorus so for that you want to start with it's still the same strumming start with a B flat and you're just doing that pattern twice then switch to the next shape a D minor and here pick the D string but then do continue to do the same strumming the next shape is an F to a B flat and then for the unto it's an F first but you just do this once then switch to an A to a B flat and just continue the B flat the chorus in total is B flat For the 
next verse. The start is the same, so it's the B flat. for the that's nothing new bit it starts with a B flat then you can go straight to an F A B flat and those chords the pattern is just done once so just like on the tired bit then the chorus just repeats again so you can do the same four chords after you've done those four, repeat them again. Then you're going to do the tired bit twice, so tired. So that's all the verses and the first two choruses. As you can see there's just little variations, there's nothing drastically different about them. Next is the, I think it's called a bridge, the bit is like the stars. So you're going to start with the D minor, pick the D string and do the strumming twice. Then switch to this next shape, I don't know what it's called, um, but it sounds right. <laughs> and then I pick the A string and do the strumming twice. To an A, still doing the same strumming, and then for this it's the F, but you just do the strumming once, then move that exact same shape up to fret 5, and do the strumming there, and then you just repeat all of those again. So in total the bridge is... Next bit, we're just talking about being sat on a dead man bench. Um, that is the exact same chords as the second verse, so I'll just repeat that again. Start with a B flat. And then the last chorus is just the normal four chords minus that I'm tired. You'd repeat. So literally just repeat that and that's the whole song. Um, <laughs> so I will put in the description. Um, what happens for each chorus and each verse so you can follow that and practice it um, as much as you need and if you have any questions or any other tutorials you'd like or covers whatever feel free to ask I'll try and answer them my best <laughs> I can